Hello, Rodney. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing Great. Good. I would like to ask you how important for you is to bounce back after the loss in New York. Um, I mean, it's very important. You know, um, you know, all in all, I think we had a solid road trip, but you know, they kind of leave a, a bad taste in our mouth a little bit. You know, but we got to move on. We got to flesh it. You know, we got. Uh, you know, three games at home that, you know, we need to try to get. So uh, tomorrow will be a big game for us. And what aspects of your game you would like to improve? What's that? Say one more time. What, what aspects of your game you would like to improve as a team through after the road trip? Um, I think it's just things we clean it up, you know, transition defense, you know, taking away more threes uh, from other teams. Um, You know, just all around, you know, all around defensively. I think, you know, our, our mind is in the right place. You know, we just got to transfer, uh, transfer to the game. And uh, I think we'll be fine. We'll start to get better. Rick Olsen down with Blazers Broadcasting. Hi, Rodney. On this last road trip, um, you were kind of essentially put into a starting position as a point guard. What were, I guess, what's your comfort level with that? And do you enjoy that? Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm comfortable in it. You know, I think I, I know most of the plays to put, you know, most of the guys in uh, positions to score. You know, um, even when Dane was playing, you know, just him playing off the ball more, you know, they trust me uh, to be able to, you know, get people in the right spots and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, it's been, uh, it's been, uh, it's been comfortable for me, you know, um, and different times throughout the game, I'm gonna have to do it. Um, but, you know, I just, just, Just learning on the fly. You know, I didn't think I would be in that role this year, but uh, just trying to learn on the fly. Jamie Hudson, NBC Sports Northwest. Go ahead. And along with that, Rodney, obviously the playmaking, but also we heard Gary Trent Jr. talk about after the Sixers game that you were stepping up as more of a vocal leader. Have you been trying to take that on because of the circumstances right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, we need as many voices, you know, as we can, you know, um, you know, with, with Nurk and CJ and, you know, uh, DJ was out for a while, you know, just making sure we got voices in the locker room, you know, Dame uh, does a lot for us, you know, he shouldn't be the only one speaking out and, and Mello, I'm sorry, Dame and Mello, you know, it got to be other guys holding each other accountable and, um, and we've been doing that, you know, we got a great group of guys that want to learn and want to get things right, you know, um, but it's going to take everybody and The more I play, you know, I was on minute restriction a lot at the beginning of the season. The more I play, the more, you know, my voice needs to be heard because I, you know, I've been through it, you know, so I understand what it what it takes. And I was going to ask you about that with the minutes restriction. How have you been feeling? Because you have been playing a lot more minutes. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel I feel a lot better. I feel more in flow in the game. I feel like I get more of a rhythm um, just being out there longer, you know. Um, so, you know, I've been feeling good, you know, playing playing a lot of minutes, but, you know, our, our team, our team needs that right now. You know, we down some, some people, you know, every game and feel like somebody goes down. So, you know, uh, just next man up, you know, and um, just got to get, get my rest and stuff. And, you know, my body will react um, as we go along. Thank 